guys welcome back to Val's kitchen now in this video I will show you how to cook the real Jamaican curry goat and I have my goat hair all washed all cleaned and ready to be seasoned and what am I using to season it I am using my homemade curry to season it if you want to see how I make my curry you can check out the channel because I have a video up on the channel how I make my curry. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump all my curry in my goat meat. Then when I'm doing stews and curries like these, I like to shred my garlic and my onions. And that's exactly what I have in here. Shredded garlic and onions and I am going to go ahead and dump the whole thing in the pot with the goat. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on a glove on my right hand because I am going to get personal with my goat meat in this pot. I am going to Rub in the seasoning into the goat and meat, goat meat, and then I am going to put the cover it and put it in the refrigerator until the morning I get it started in the slow cooker. So let me go ahead and just get everything rubbed into this goat meat. So goat meat is uh, one of our favorite meat dishes in Jamaica. We do eat a lot of goat meat, especially on Sundays or during holidays or if you're having a birthday party, a wedding special occasion. Yeah, you will find goat meat there, curry goat meat. So the seasoning is all mixed in, in the goat meat. I'm going to take this glove off and wash my hands. So here we go. It's all seasoned. I'm going to cover it. I'll put it in the refrigerator until the morning. And as I said, I will get it started in the slow cooker so it can slowly cook. And while it's been slowly cooked, the meat gets all that time to absorb this seasoning. Okay, so we'll see you in the morning when we get it started in the slow cooker. Hi guys, I'm still going at it, looking about Christmas dinner. Now, I seasoned my goat meat last night and now I am getting ready to put it in the slow cooker. I prefer to use the slow cooker because the slow cooker allows the meat to slowly cook, preserve more of its nutrients and absorb more of the seasoning to make it tastier. So I've already turned on my slow cooker and what I'll do is after I put the meat in, I will just put a little bit of water. I don't want to put too much because the meat will produce some liquid. So I'll put just about a half a cup of boiling water. There we go, it's on its way. I'll cover it. So guys, the curry goat is ready to be eaten. It's cooked. And there are three things that are important in cooking a very good curry goat. The first thing is your seasoning. How do you season 
your goat meat. The second thing, season it with thyme so you can put it to marinate at least for eight to 12 hours. And then the last thing is cook it in a slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker, don't use a pressure cooker. Put it in a regular pot. The only thing is if when you put it in the regular pot, you have to check back more often. When it's in a slow cooker, it just slowly cooks on its own and you don't have to interfere with it. And that is exactly what I did right here. Now, towards the end, all I did was just put a few um, cubes of Irish potatoes. I like to put Irish potatoes in like my stews or like my curry chicken even my um, stewed chicken sometimes I'll put the Irish potatoes because it adds that um, bite and it introduces a little veggie but the carbo the carbohydrate from the potatoes actually help to form a lovely gravy in your stews or your curries whenever you are doing them so I'm going to be dishing up a lovely plate now. Guys, I have dished up myself a lovely plate of basmati rice, Jamaican rice and peas. You know, the one I have on the channel. Check it out if you haven't tried it yet. It's good. But yeah, Jamaican rice and peas and some good authentic jamaican curry goat now if you try the way i do curry goat you will never stop eating curry goat it's always a hit with my family and i like it myself too it's pretty good so go ahead guys try cooking some curry goat man and if you need any if you have any questions you want answered just ask me i'll be more than willing to answer it and what i'll do is actually put some pointers in the description box when i am uploading the videos so i hope you guys are having a merry blessed christmas season with your family and friends thank you so much for subscribing to the channel for liking the videos and for sharing and leave a comment below i like to talk with you guys so leave a comment below and let me know what you think and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead subscribe man and don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos okay guys so you enjoy the rest of the holidays and i'll see you in the next video thanks again merry christmas